Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transport review because I love some freaking transformers. So you today, today we'll be taking a look at Legacy Evolution Nacelle. Um, I think this was either I think this was an Amazon exclusive. I think it was. Um, yeah, here it is. I'm going to do a short review. I've reviewed this mold several, several times. One of my favorite molds from the Siege. I think I picked uh, the Starscream or, you know, Starscream mold and Jetfire were my, I think, top two. I did a top ten uh, Siege uh, a couple years ago, I think. And um, these were my top uh, two. I think him and uh, Jetfire were my top two. But, yeah, love this mold. But it's going to be a quick one. I'm not going to do transformation. I've, already, if you, I've transformed this guy several, several times. You can go back and look. He's been transformed several times. Um... There was an issue with mold on, on theirs. Um, luckily, mine does not have mold on it, so that's good. Uh, but here's the box art. Looks beautiful. Love it. You got that side right there. Sorry about the glare. You got the legacy up uh, there. You got that. You already seen that up there on the back. Takes 21 steps to transform. It's easy transformation. Like I said, I'm just going to go over it real quickly. It's going to be a quick uh, review. But yeah, before we get to it, hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. And uh, let's talk about Nacelle Legacy Evolution. All right, good stuff. All right, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. Instructions, nicely done as always. Nice big pictures. Really nice. Comes with two blasters or null rays, whatever you want to call them. And they are painted red, white, and blue. America. It's over a white plastic. You got the red paint and the blue. Nice little sculpt work. And you do get two of them. And they are blast effect compatible. So you can use that just like Siege was. All right. And that's what he comes with. All right. Real quick. Here is Nacelle. I think that's all, that's all you I hope you say his name. Um, seen this mold several times. One of my favorites from Siege, actually. I think him and Jetfire were my top two favorites. Uh, I think I did a top 10 a couple years ago. And uh, I love this mold. It's a great mold. Um, not a whole lot of paint on this one. A lot of blue plastic. You got the white. Then you got the yellow translucent over the white. And then you got, I think this might be painted, the uh, gunmetal silver. That might be painted. I don't know. But you got a lot of sculpt work. Um, I'm sure Toy Hacks is going to do some, maybe do some stickers for it. So it'll be a little better for it. Um, I don't, uh, now there was a rumor. Or I saw, it wasn't a rumor, but there was a thing out that, uh, there was mold on this on this uh, mold, <laughs> and it would be underneath the wings. I don't think I have any. Um, mine's pretty good, I guess. So that's good. So, you know, we got that. You could put the you know blasters right here, or throw, you know, whatever you want to call them, null rays. You got the back. Um, that might be painted. I, I don't know. It's got some nice sculpt work for the thrusters. This is painted. The white, yellow, translucent, um, yellow, or the pistain yellow right there. The blue, I think, is is uh, painted as well you got thrusters down here and you can put blast effects in there you know to make it go that like thing so pretty cool but yeah really like this mold here's underneath um on the other side same thing you know like i said i'm not gonna go over it too fast i've already done it now there is a hole right in there this little thing i think it can go in it giggity and well i may have to do it but you can i think you can put that in there and use this flat stand Golly. Anyways, you can use the flat stand. You can actually just probably just do it like this or something like that. And yeah, you can hold it up and everything. Here, let me move my camera up a little bit. But yeah, you can use the flat stand. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Real quick, there's Wheelie. You got the uh, New Age Prime mold and you got Magic Square uh, Prowl. And then you got Bludgeon. You got uh, Red Alert back there. And then you got Dustbuster Jazz for some scale. All right, back to transformation. Here is Nacelle in his bot mode. And like I said, I don't have any white stuff in mine. So I got lucky, I guess. I like it. All right, here he is. The head sculpt looks good. Nicely painted red. I think the blue is also painted as well. Uh, he's got some light popping. A little back right there. The yellow light popping looks good. Articulation, look down, eh. Look up, eh. Side to side, and eh, no attitude. Once again, this is painted yellow, white, uh, nice uh, pistain yellow. Uh, this white might be painted too as well. That's nice. All right, arms go out to there, all the way around. You got a nice uh, elbow bend, more than 90 degrees. That's good. Bicep swivel, swivel of the hand. You can hold these if you want to. If you want to take them off, you can hold them in the hand. That is good. The wings go back and forth, and they do angle up too as well. So you can get some dynamic poses if you want to. 
He does have a waist swivel. The back end gets in a little bit in the way, but kind of move it and you can get it about that far without uh, trying to break it or anything like that. So pretty good. Red thighs right there, white paint right there, and that's about it. A lot of blue plastic. Uh, Van Dam all day, every day. Kick up, very nice. Kick back, not much. That's the, the booty gets in the way. He does have a thigh swivel. Nice knee bend. This does get in the way, but you do get a more than 90 degrees for the knee bend. And I like how this kind of collapses in. That's pretty cool. All right, toe tilt up, uh, back a little bit, and a little rocker. Not that big of one. I wish it was a little more, but that's all you got. All right, then you got a little backpack on the back end right there, like that. Uh, you can move it up here if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, like I said, a lot of blue plastic, a lot of blue, blue plastic and white. Red, white, blue. This is America Seeker. And there you go. And there's Prime, Ironhide, Size White, Brawn. You got Core Class Wheelie and Tiss McGee Redgar. Scale. Crapagonics, crappy toilet paper, AAA battery, Carmex, Care Bears, Kicker Squeaks. More scale. All right, let's talk about Legacy Evolution Nacelle. I hope I said that right. I think it's Nacelle. Um, love the mold, like I said already several times. One of my favorites. I have, I think, every one of them they put out. Love, love the mold. This one's good as well. Uh, got the red, white, and blue America. I do not have any molds. Once again, I don't have any mold in there, so that's good. Um, uh, the, the Tetra Jet mold is really good. I love it. Uh, Transformation, Transformation's easy. Uh, paint wise, it, decent. It's got some. It's a lot of blue plastic, a lot of white plastic. But you know, the weapons are painted. That's good. You got some white, white and yellow. The face, all the face is nicely painted. Uh, you do got some light piping. You got the red thighs and white. But there's a lot of blue plastic. But decently painted. It's okay. Uh, articulation. Oh, I forgot to mention it does have a um, butterfly. Really does that because of transformation. But still, it does have a butterfly. I didn't mention that. I think I might have wrote something during the uh, you know the uh, when I was explaining it. But um, yeah, really good on the articulation. I just wish it had a bigger uh, rocker. That would have been pretty cool. But other than that, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, materials still feel good after being used so many times. And it's an older mold. I think five years old, maybe, I think. When did Siege come out? Golly, I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, still holding up pretty well. I, I don't I don't have any issues. So, really nice. I, I really recommend this one. If you like the Tetra Jet mold and you want some different, you know, seekers and stuff, definitely get this guy. So, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Hit me up some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. If you're getting this guy or did you not get it because of the mold thing. Hopefully, you know, if you did, you didn't get, you know, mold on theirs. I don't know. Uh, but I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking Seekers. All right. Good night, folks.